God bless us all. I'm so grateful that we are able to join again. We are on day six of the Woman Renew Challenge. And today we are looking at the woman Hannah. The woman Hannah, a wonderful woman that the Bible makes us understand that she believed God for the fruit of the womb. And she had her husband, Akana, who loved her very much. And he had another wife, Penina, who had other children. And the Bible says that it was it was not a good um, situation for Hannah, laughed at, ridiculed, I'm sure, by Penina and her children. And there was an annual trip that the family made to Shiloh, a place where they would give their hearts unto the Lord in prayer, in fasting, in petitioning unto the Lord for their heart's desire. But on this particular trip, Anna went on a mission that she would not leave without the blessings from the Lord, which for her case was the fruit of the womb. And the Bible says that she reached and she prayed and she cried unto the Lord. It was a sorrowful spirit, the Bible said. And in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 13, it made us understand that Hannah, spake in her heart her lips moved but her voice did not move her lips moved but her voice was not heard and Elkanah thought that she was drunk and that speaks to me about the in-depthness of the worship that Hannah gave unto the Lord the in-depthness of the cry that she cried unto the Lord whereby those around her thought that something was wrong with her mentally where she knew that it wasn't about anybody else who was watching it wasn't about anybody else who was talking laughing it wasn't about anybody else saying oh there she goes again praying for the same old thing it was about her and God and her determination to say that I am not going to leave this place the same. I know we come here every year, but today I am not leaving without the blessing that I desire from the Lord. And that is what I challenge for all of us, that we begin to build Shilohs around us, that we begin to cause every encounter with the Lord, even in the house of the Lord, to be our very own Shiloh. That it doesn't matter who else enters that place with you. It doesn't matter who is singing next to you in the pew stands. It doesn't matter who else is shouting the hallelujah with you. But you know that for you and for God, there is something that is making the difference on every occasion that you spend with him. You know that it doesn't matter who else is lifting up their hands. But when you cry unto the Lord that you will not leave the same. That is what I challenged myself with when I read the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1. And I want to challenge all of us with it today. Challenged, be challenged to give a petition and a supplication unto the Lord like you have never given him before. I also want to encourage you what I got from this book um from the story of hannah that it doesn't matter who has gone before you i know we saw from the stories before um today on the other challenge days that the lord makes all things beautiful in his time and in hannah's case it didn't matter that penina had children before her it didn't matter that penina was also a wife of elkanah before her but hannah had a petition that she gave unto the Lord and that is what made her difference. I challenge you to allow worship to make a difference. Worship will collapse time for your sake. Worship will cause you to override those that have gone before you. It didn't matter that Penina had children before Hannah but when Samuel came, Penina's children mattered not. Their names were not even mentioned in the Bible because there was a Samuel that was to come that would make the difference. Because there was a Samuel that was to come that will silence the enemy and the avenger. Because because there was a Samuel that was to come that will lift up the shame from Hannah because there was a Samuel that was to come that will dry her tears and cause her to laugh again. I challenge you to worship God. I challenge you to worship God. Before ever there was a Samuel it was worship that made the difference for Hannah. It was petitioning from the bottom of her soul that made the difference to Hannah. It was a kind of worship that even though her lip moved, her voice was not heard but the Lord heard the voice that came from her inner man and it was that voice that made the difference for her. It was that voice that caused the Lord to remember her. I challenge you today to go into a place of worship of, with God that no one has, can reach in, that no one can be able to go in with you, but you and God alone, you will worship him like never before in this month of March. You will go in depth with God in a place of intimacy and he will remember you. He will remember the desires of your heart. You will birth your Samuel and your life will never be the same again. I don't know about you. You, but something about worship, we learned it in the woman with the alabaster box. Something about reaching to God, we learned it with the woman with the issue of blood. It makes a difference. And that is what made the difference for Hannah. My prayer for all of us is that we grow in 
intimacy with God in intimacy in prayer intimacy in worship intimacy in our petition and supplication and even in our thanksgiving unto the Lord that he will continuously remember us and the desires of our hearts and we will smile as we hold our Samuels in Jesus name the Lord bless you I will see you on the next clip of Woman Renew Challenge I hope that you are blessing someone by sharing the videos and um, being a blessing to them by sending them the link so that they can get their copy of Woman Renewed. It is on Amazon.com. I will see you next time and God's grace and peace continue to keep us in Jesus name. Bye-bye.